What's up, YouTube? Uh, that shit. Got some news. Well, I finished my bottom end yesterday, got it all back together, and then I get a text from my cousin this morning, because we found, well, we found a dial pin whenever I was all done. It was like a pretty hefty one. We didn't really know what it goes to, so I was like, I don't know where it goes. So like, whatever, and then he sends me a text on my way home from work, and he's like, found out where that dial pin goes to, and he goes, end of the case. We just put it back together, got everything back together, so I'm going over to his house now to split the cases again. So, yeah, I'll be right back with you guys there. At my cousin's house here, uh, got the bottom end, 125. Um, as you can see, it's all together nicely with the new crank, but this dial pin, the one I was talking about, goes, where does it go? It goes like over here, I wanna say. Something like that, maybe down here. Over here. So yeah. Transplant <laughs> the case again. All right, here we go. All right, so, got the cases split. For all this little dude, I'm gonna have to put it in there to make sure, but that's him. Uh, so yeah, there's the new crank. Um, gears and everything stock. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. I have to scrape all this stuff off now. And then let's see, we're just, we got it over here somewhere. The sealant stuff, it's, it's over there, I think. But yeah, so it didn't take me that long, probably like 20 minutes or so, just, you know, the clutch side case cover, clutch out. Um, I didn't need a flywheel puller. I, I didn't need it. Um, it kind of just like came off when I pulled it because we didn't, it didn't, hasn't run it or nothing like that. So it was kind of easy to get off. And then I got the iPad over there with the part stack, not a part diagram, you know, the, manual so I know how to torque everything back down but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reseal that back up and go ahead and put it back together all for this a little circlet so yeah all right so I just want to show you guys something real quick uh, kind of like the whole reason why <clears throat> I found that I had to split the cases so right here see a little difference in color that's like like a JB weld or something like that I forget but uh kid who had it before me the top end blue and like that part for the exhaust valve in the, the exhaust, whatever the hell it is in the uh, cylinder broke and like came down and crane came down, put a piece of metal through here and on each side, now on this side wasn't as bad, you can kind of see it right there a little bit, but we just put some metal over there and it, I mean like it, that putty type stuff and it worked pretty well. But right now I'm just cleaning up the cases on the lines right here so I can go ahead and reseal it. Cause everything else is good. I mean, you know, everything's in place, gears are still in place. Cylinder, the crank's just chilling there. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. But um, it works works pretty good. Um, you know, we'll figure out how, how how well it really holds whenever we start ripping this thing again. But yeah, just wanted to point all that out. All right, so got it all back together. I think the longest part was honestly, whenever you split the cases, you gotta, you know, clean off the, um, the sides and then reseal it. That was probably the most time consuming part was doing that. Um, other than everything, you know, went back together real smoothly. Um, clutch went in nice. Kickstarter shaft, all like the main drive bearings or main drive gears, everything, you know, everything fit together nice and smoothly. These two shokes are really easy to, you know, tear apart the bottom end. Um, and then just throw them right back together. It's not hard at all. But, um, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask. I'm coming very familiar with these bikes. So yeah, thank you very much.